What's going on, everybody? Liam here, Everything NYJ, back with another video for you on a beautiful Sunday. So this morning, you're scrolling through Twitter, and you see the report from Rich Samini that the New York Jets and Quinn and Williams are nowhere close to a contract extension. And it's just so frustrating. It really is. Like, why is this becoming a problem? Quinn and Williams was drafted by Mike McCagnin a couple years ago. So I understand he's not a Joe Douglas guy. He's not a Joe Douglas draft pick. But that doesn't matter. Quinn and Williams has become one of the best players on the team. He's an anchor for the defensive line, an all-pro player. He's done everything the right way since being drafted. He's gotten better. He's improved. He's kept his mouth shut. No problems with Quinn and Williams off the field. You re-sign his brother. So finally, Quinn and Williams last year, you, you finally put quality pieces around Quinn and Williams. Sheldon Rankins, Nathan Shepard, who you don't even re-sign, to send them out the door. And then Quinn and Williams has a breakout season. Now he's time for a contract. Now he's due for a contract. And you don't want to pay him? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason that this should become a problem. As Jets fans, we're having one of the greatest off-seasons that we have had in quite some time. We have Aaron Rodgers, Hall of Fame quarterback, who wants to be a New York Jet who's in the building. He's hanging out with the players. He's getting close with Sauce Gardner, Brees Hall, going to Knicks games, going to Ranger games. So much, so much excitement around this team. There's a very realistic possibility that the New York Jets are on hard knocks this year. And this automatically gives me flashbacks to Revis when Rex Ryan's knocking on Revis' door saying, Revis, come home. You don't want that problem with Quinn and Williams. We added a couple other pieces on this defensive line. This defensive line could be so explosive. Quentin Jefferson, Al Woods, Quinn and Williams. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. And you're going to give Quentin Williams a hard time? We saw the Titans pay Simmons. Defensive tackles all around the league are getting paid. I just don't understand why we, as New York Jets, have such a hard time re-signing some of these players. Homegrown talent, we have. And we just send them right out the door. Sauce Gardner, Garrett Wilson, they're going to be looking at this and seeing how this gets all played out. Brees Hall, same thing. Vera Tucker. We have a lot of young, quality players on this team that we're going to want to, uh, here, here it goes again, Jet for life. We're going to want these guys as Jets for life. And Joe Douglas has a very hard time just making that happen. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's mind-numbing. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it for the life of me. He's done everything the right way. 12 sacks last year. All-pro caliber player. At the beginning of the offseason, we were saying probably $20 million is what it's going to take a year for Quinn. Now we're looking probably at $23 to $25 million a year. And then what, are you going to disrespect him and make him play in the franchise tag? Just get the deal done. He's done everything the right way. I don't understand what the holdup is. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Quinn Williams should get paid? Should he play in the franchise tag? What do you guys think Joe Douglas should do with this whole Quinn Williams fiasco? And what would you be also willing to pay him? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk Jets soon.